Hello and welcome to this short guide on the new-ish Dynamics 365 demand planning application. This is the first episode of a seven-part series where I explain how the Dynamics 365 demand planning application works. This episode contains a quick overview of the application capabilities and the end-to-end -end process flow. My name is Henrik Marks Larsen, and I'm a principal consultant with Scales, a Danish Microsoft Systems integrator. I've worked with Dynamics 365, Finance and Operations, and its predecessors for more than 25 years across many industries and geographies. Since the demand planning application is fairly comprehensive, I've decided to divide my tutorial into seven episodes, each dealing with an important aspect of the application. In episode one, I introduce the key capabilities of the application and explain what an end-to-end -end demand planning process looks like. In episode two, we look at how we can import historical demand data from Dynamics 365, supply chain management and other sources. Often we need to transform the demand data we have imported into a more appropriate format for demand planning. We look at how transformation is performed in episode 3. Episode 4 is all about forecasting and how we can apply forecasting models to our historical demand data. Sometimes we would like to post-process the demand plan created by forecasting. We look at how this can be done in episode 5. Reviewing and adjusting the demand plan is the topic for episode 6 and we close the series with episode 7 where we export the demand plan back to Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management. So what is Dynamics 365 demand planning and why has Microsoft developed a new application? Historically, Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management has predominantly focused on supply planning through first MRP and more recently planning optimization. A simple time series forecasting model was available but did not allow much flexibility in terms of planning dimensions and buckets. This approach also had limited scope for what-if scenario planning. In addition, the demand planning functionality available did not allow planners to visualize data and apply financial calculations. This has all changed with this new application, so let us start with a short introduction to the key capabilities of the application. Dynamics 365 Demand Planning is a standalone application which can be deployed with or without Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management. Although the application comes with a comprehensive standard data model for holding demand data and relevant master data, such as products and customers, the data model can be extended through configuration to suit your business needs. The forecasting algorithms in the application, which we'll explore in more depth in episode 4, are leveraging Azure Machine Learning. Customer-specific machine learning models can be created and used in the demand planning application. Although the demand planning application is built to connect natively with Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management, data from other sources can be imported using Power Query. Lastly, planners can use secure Teams chat to discuss specific forecasts. Now that we understand what the application can do, let us look at the end-to-end -end demand planning process. Let's take a look at the demand planning end-to-end -end process. It all starts by the ingestion of historical demand data from an external data source such as Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management. Once the data has been ingested, it must be transformed into the format used by the data model in the demand planning application. The transformation creates a historical demand data time series. Based on the imported data, we create a new forecast time series. For this, we use one of the inbuilt forecasting algorithms. We now have a base forecast. It is now time for the planners to review and adjust the forecast. Once the forecast review has completed, 
we export the final forecast back to Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management. This completes the introduction to the Dynamics 365 demand planning application. I hope you enjoyed the video. In the next episode of this series, we'll take a closer look at how we import data in Dynamics 365 demand planning. Thank you for watching.